Hi there! And welcome to this video tutorial. If you are curious about how some mountains and volcanoes were formed, as well as most of the earthquakes originated, then, you came to the right video. Have you seen the 2015 sci-fi movie San Andreas Fault? Let's try to figure out what is the story behind this famous fault line. In the previous video, we discuss about the plate tectonics. This time, let's have the continuation and we will be talking about the plate boundaries. As we all know, the places on Earth where most of the mountains, volcanoes, and earthquake originated, were formed along the plate boundaries. Plate boundaries are the edges where two plates meet. As mentioned also in our previous video, each plate is slowly moving relative to each other, causing geologic events to happen along these plate boundaries. Today, we will be talking about the different types of plate boundaries. We have the Divergent Convergent and Transform Let's start with the Divergent Plate Boundaries. Divergent Plate Boundaries are also known as Constructive Plate Margins. These are areas where the two plates are moving apart or away from each other. There are two types of Divergent Plate Boundaries. First we have the Oceanic-Oceanic Divergent Plate Boundary. And the second type, is the Continental-Continental Divergent Plate Boundary. In the Divergent Plate Boundaries, the two plate boundaries, move away from each other. With this movement, it allows the magma underneath to rise up, until it reaches the surface. Divergent Plate Movement, or the Spreading Boundaries, leads to the occurrence of a shallow depth earthquake or it could lead to the formation of a mid-ocean ridge, or a gap, which is called a rift, is formed between the two moving plates. Let us try to take a look at the famous Great Rift Valley of Africa. The most well-known rift valley on Earth is probably the so-called Great Rift Valley system, which stretches from the Middle East in the north to Mozambique in the south. The area is geologically active and features volcanoes, hot springs, geysers, and frequent earthquakes. Very few active rift valleys are found on continental lithosphere. We have the East African Rift, the Baikal Rift Valley, the West Antarctic Rift, and the Rio Grande Rift, which are among the Earth's major active continental rift valleys. Meanwhile, many of Earth's deepest rift valleys are found underwater, dividing long mountain ranges called mid-ocean ridges. Let us now proceed to the second type of plate boundary, and that is the convergent boundary. Convergent plate boundaries are also known as destructive plate margins or subduction zone. It lies between the two tectonic plates moving toward each other. In a convergent plate boundary, the denser plate moves or slides under the less dense plate. There are three types of convergent plate boundaries. First, we have the oceanic oceanic convergent plate boundary. When the two colliding plates are oceanic crusts. Second, is the oceanic continental convergent boundary. When the denser oceanic plates dives beneath the continental plate. And the third type is the continental continental. Occurs when the two colliding plates are continental plates. Let us start with the oceanic oceanic convergent boundary. This occurs when the two plates moving towards each other are oceanic plates. The younger, less dense plate goes on top, while the denser, older plate moves under. The plate that moves under slides into the asthenosphere and becomes magma. When magma rises and breaks into the surface, lava piles up and forms volcanic island arcs. Volcanic island arcs are a chain of volcanoes aligned in an arc shape. The islands of Japan and the Marianas Islands are examples of volcanic island arcs formed through this process. Up next is the Oceanic Continental Convergent Plate Boundary. When an oceanic plate collides with a continental plate, the thinner and denser oceanic plate slides or moves underneath the thicker and less dense continental plates called subduction zone. This would lead to the formation of volcanic island arcs and trenches. 
Trenches are also called submarine valleys. The Marianas Trench, in the Pacific Ocean, is considered the deepest location on Earth. The third type of convergent boundary is the Continental Continental Convergent Plate Boundary. Continental Continental Plate Boundary occurs when the two plates moving towards each other form a collision. Unlike the other two types of convergent boundaries, no plate moves or slides under the other. No trench. No volcano. And definitely no island arc is created in this process. Instead what is created is a large group of tall mountains called a mountain range. This is the explanation of how the Himalayan peaks were formed. Which is due to the continuous pressure by pushing the crusts upward. Let us now proceed to the third type of plate boundary which is the transform plate boundary. Transform plate boundary is also known as conservative plate margin. It is the area where the two plates slide horizontally past against each other without the construction or destruction of the lithosphere. The two plates slide past each other in opposite direction. The transform plate boundary forms fault lines such as the San Andreas Fault. San Andreas Fault forms the tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, which extends roughly 1,200 kilometers through California. The rubbing of the two plate as they slide against each other creates earthquake. And that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Don't forget to subscribe Makerspace Wisdom's channel. And click the notification bell for more tutorial videos and updates.